Hey folks, thanks for joining me for today's episode of Big Daddy J's Wood Shop. Today, we've got an easy one for you. We'll be doing a tandem paper towel dispenser for your next crab feast, seafood boil, or barbecue. This picnic table centerpiece will make clean hands and faces a breeze. That's right, no more sibling battles over paper towels. Let's get started. <laughs> Let's go over some of our materials for today. We'll need two 1x6s cut at 12 inches. We'll also need three 1x2s cut at 12 inches. I've got two paper towel dowels from Woodpecker Crafts I'll be using, as well as my air nailer, wood glue, and a small half inch paddle bit. Let's start with our three support bars. We'll cut three 1x2s at 12 inches each. These will not only give the dispenser stability, but they will also act as the handle at the top. We'll do the exact same thing for our 1x6s. We'll cut two. These will be the face of your tandem dispenser. Let's break out the router. We're gonna use a 3 8 round over bit and we're gonna hit three sides of each of the one by sixes. The two short sides and one long side. We're gonna do the same thing with our support bars here. Run them through the router. Be careful, these are really thin. You're gonna to wanna to watch where your hands are at all times. We're now gonna mark our indents for our dowel rods on our holder faces. Measure two inches from the side and measure one and three eighths inches from the top down. Repeat this step for both one by six faces. Using a 3 8 drill bit, you want to drill an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch deep at your intersecting point. Repeat this step for both boards. I'm gonna mark and drill holes in my top support to hold my crab mallets. I'm gonna do two inches off of the edge and then I'm gonna do two and three quarter inches from there towards the center. Because our one board is roughly three quarter inches thick on both sides, this will make everything look as even as possible. You know the drill here. Thoroughly sand down each piece. I'm using a 220 grit sandpaper. Anything more coarse and you will really eat away at your project. 
This is just pine after all. While you have a chance now, you want to find the center to your middle support bar and find the center to your front face boards. with some tight bond wood glue. And with our air nailer, we're ready to put this thing together. Put your two undrilled support brackets on the bottom of your face boards. And then we are going to line up our center marks that we made in the last step at the top to make sure that everything pulls together square. We're getting down to the last few steps here. Just make sure you take your time here. Make sure that everything's square, because you can only nail it the one time. With it all together, and a fresh coat of paint, and some art from someone way more talented than me, this finally looks like a nice finished project. Your final step, get some dowel rods and paper towels in there. Then, call your family, invite them over, show off your new piece at the next family picnic. Thanks for joining me today, everyone. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Next week, we'll take a shot at a key tray. Just something to hold your pocket treasure. Remember to like and subscribe, and stay sweeping sawdust. <laughs>